it has been tough. And we told you about those heavy snow bands that were going to be moving into the Metroplex. As you take a look at the Dallas Sky Cam, the time lapse just from 2:45 to now. See, you can see the roadways. You can see Reunion Tower just a bit more. Let me put this in motion. And over the past 15 to 20 minutes, we're now getting wide out conditions in downtown Dallas as that heavy snow band moves its way in. Clyde Warren Park, some heavier snow continuing to fall right now, and that will go up as that heavy snow band moves in. Arlington still seeing a heavy snow band. Visibility has reduced drastically because of this heavy snow at 15 degrees. Also, with the wind, it feels like zero when you step on out of the door. So here's the high resolution radar. When you look at this with me, that darker blue color in Indicates the heavier snow band. So you notice we have one, two, three almost developing for us. So we do have a few snow bands that will continue to move their way through. So this first one is making its way through the Metroplex. Let's go ahead and pause that and track this as it is making its way from west to east. Den, you're in it right now. Keller as well, down to near Fort Worth. Arlington, that leaning edge is moving to the east about 20 to 25 miles per hour. So in Frisco at 548, Plano about 603, the leaning edge of that heavier uh, snow. The 608 and we're all at about 617. That's what we're looking at with this first band that's going to move through. So your visibilities will drop and this heavy snow will continue into the evening hours. That's what we're looking at as far as uh, the radar is concerned. Fossil Room Wildlife Center uh, also seeing some heavy snow. So the future cast shows as we go into tonight, that heavy snow makes its way from west to east. This forecast model picking up on that might see a little bit of a break by the later evening hours, but then more snow continuing to wrap around on the southern edge, fill back in and see our accumulations on our southeast counties start to go up. How much are we talking about? Northwest counties, six to eight inches, possibly from Bowie to Jacksboro, uh, Decatur to the Denton area, four inches to six inches, I think in the Metroplex, between three to five inches, and in those southeast counties, maybe six to eight inches. We have this winter storm warning in effect until six o'clock on Monday. Uh, we're also going to be dealing with really cold temperatures. We're at 13 right now with a north-northwest wind at 20, feeling like five below. So all across North Texas, single digits to about 11 to near 12 degrees. The feels like temperature already feeling like below zero five to below zero McKinney to 10 below in mineral wells. I just want to give you the forecast for tomorrow morning. Possibly is going to be down to near three at DFW to one below in Bowie. But I also want to show you this real fast. By tomorrow morning, it could feel like as much as almost 20 degrees below zero. A wind chill warning most likely will go into effect for the first time ever at DFW. So it's already a histor historic storm. But Jeff, we're not done with the winter weather. Yeah, this will make you, uh, give you a heavy sigh. We have a longer, more uh, event in store for us coming up midweek. It starts actually Tuesday night, goes into Wednesday. It looks like it might last 36 hours across North Texas. Uh, it promises to deliver more ice, and there's several reasons why. But as you can see it unfold, you can see right now the forecast is the Metroplex gets yet another big snow, maybe two to four inches. But down across from Hillsboro over into Athens and south, it could be all ice. It could be a damaging ice that we're talking about having problems with the pipes and the power lines. Now, we went below freezing at 5 p.m. yesterday, and we're forecast to get above freezing by noon on Friday. That's 139 hours below freezing. It's not close to the record of 295, but I mention that because everything that falls uh, tonight, everything that falls in the morning, everything that falls on Wednesday is going to stick around until we get to Friday and it starts to melt away. So we have a significantly long cold spell with another winter storm coming, and then as we get into the weekend, we'll find finally start getting rid of the snow. We even got a cold front, but it won't be as cold, not nearly.